Hello YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have a review of the Premium Bandai Exclusive, or P-Bandai Exclusive, Robot Damashi Gun Tank Mass Production Type Ver Anime. Now these were also one of those figures that I wanted to get slash pre-order, but once again I missed my chance. So, uh, after release I was able to find a good deal and recently order one. And here we have it right now. So, uh, right off the bat I'm going to mention that there won't be any comparisons because number one, there is no HUC. Uh, gun tank mass production type. While there is a HUC gun tank, I failed to procure one because every service I usually use, mostly Gundam Base, Gundam Base Korea, they were all sold out of gun tanks, but I would like to eventually review one in the future as well. Alright, so now let's get on to the review right away. So once again, this unit was in the Gundam 08 MS team as well. And once again, as the name implies, it is the mass production type of the original gun tank. So there are definitely some changes in terms of designs where some places got simplified, while other parts there is a new add-on gimmick going on here. So yeah. Anyway, so let, as usual, let's go over the components. So first of all, what you get, of course, is obviously the gun tank mass production type itself. Definitely loving the size and chunk of it. And then um, uh, you would think because of these long cannons, they would be separate pieces in the box. But no, those are not separate pieces. They are actually attached to the unit as well. So the cannons are all the way up high because if, if it's even a little bit down on the downside, it's going to collide with the back wall here and my camera, which is why I'm doing it all the way up. And I also attach new lights to my camera as well. So now it's, I'm operating four lights at the moment. All right, speaking of antennas, uh, now the the antennas are actually a separate piece from the box so you do need to attach the antennas. And because of that, they do give you a spare set. So if you, in case you break or lose, any of the antennas, you do have a spare set, so no need to worry about that. That is great because any mass production type antennas are as important as a V fin for a Gundam unit. Other than that, now because being a gun tank type unit, this does not this guy does not use any bazookas, shields, or like uh, beam savers as well. But instead, every since every weapon is attached to it, you get some special effect parts. So number one, we get these giant effect parts. So these are the same shape as. You know, these two are the same shape, unlike the Gun Cannon Ver anime where they actually gave you uh, similar shapes but different lengths so that to give out that illusion where the unit is firing its cannons one after another, uh, one after another. But this one, in this case, uh, I guess it implies that the cannons are being fired at the same time. So the only thing I find it odd is that the color being yellow because, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to me. So I think they could have gone with the same pink one or they could have gone just with the explosion effect part so to give out that, you know, more realistic look where a cannon is firing. But still, works very well. We will show you guys that in the demonstration here. And the other effect part is this. You get these really nice looking Gatling gun or machine gun effect parts for the arms. Now, this, while this may look like a single piece, it's actually composed of two pieces like this. So this, the way how you work is that you attach this and then you attach these two together like that. So, and you attach these four uh, effect parts together. Now, if you're having trouble attaching this whole chunk together, I suggest you attach this one first and then on top of that, you connect this part for, with more ease. So just to let you guys know, we will show you guys that later in the future, uh, in the demonstration section as well. And we get this small piece. Now this is technically supposed to be inside the backpack. I just took one out. Now this is a shell round for the cannons, but once again, um, I'll show you guys what these are for, uh, what they're used for um, when we're going over the backpack. Now, as I say, I did say there's not going to be any comparisons, but just want to give you guys an idea how the height of this guy is. So number one, here is my recent uh, reviewed um, Robot Damashi Goof customer anime as well. So you can see, uh, as I mentioned before, Robot Damashi figures are non-scale, but they are mostly similar to 1 to 1 44 scale HG Gunpla. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so you can see if we exclude the antenna, if we exclude the an can antenna and the cannons, you can see the height is much, much you know, shorter than a typical you know, mobile suit. But once again, you can see it, it's more chunkier on the bottom in, in general. So that's that. And just to show you guys an idea how long these cannons are, you can see the length is pretty much the, the same height as the Goof Custom. So that those cannons are extremely long. All right, so uh, let's start with the articulations now. So since we are on the cannons, let me just go over that. So the cannons go down as far as, um, yeah, 
So it does. There's no way to actually make the cannon look go straight. You can see it's still in a slight angle going on here, and you can go all the way up. Well, not exactly 90 degrees, but a good amount of, uh, of angle. But of course, you can kind of adjust that by moving the body up and down as well. So that's up to you. And just to give you guys an idea, now the cannons. You can see there's another joint on the inside. You can so you can move the cannons a little bit side to side to give it more, you know, fr free range of movement going on here. So it's not going to be always stuck looking at the same direction. So that's pretty good. And then let's look at the main body of the unit here going on here since I'm mostly going to be keeping the cans upwards because of the whole size and length that it takes away from, from my space. So, so once again, the main body, uh, one of the biggest difference between the original gun tank and the mass production type is the fact that this guy does not use a core fighter uh, anymore. So, which according to the, tank, um, the Gundam Wiki is that this has more articulation in terms of the body by like rotating the main body. So you can ro rotate left to right, not no 360 because of the design. You can go forward and backward like that. So that's nice. And obviously side to side is also a bit possible. Now the head is actually on a ball joint, but despite that you won't be going 360 because of the, you know, space in there. So that's that. And now for the arms, it's pretty simple. You do get the forward and backward movement going on here, and the arms can go to the side about roughly 90 degrees, slightly more depending on how you look at it. And then the low, um, okay, there we go. Uh, so depending on how you do it, it will look a little bit different going on here, but around roughly 90 degrees to the side, or depending on your rotate, you can make it go a little bit more upwards as well. And then the lower arm itself can go 360 going on here and then you get a nice bend which is roughly about 90 degrees so which is which may not look like enough but for enough for this guy as for, for what it is and for those who are wondering yes the gatling guns do rotate but not exactly 360 i am not too sure why there is definitely something blocking the way but you can rotate side to side but not 360. But once again, I guess it is enough, it is what it is. Of course, if you want something better, the Master Great Gun Tank is really good. So just letting you guys know. Now let's look at the backpack here. Now the backpack, you can see kind of the similar similarities from the original gun tank, but something was a much more chunkier block on the back. So um, what you can do is you can actually open this section up and you can, you, you can see that I do like that small sliding gimmick over there, but still you can reveal these and you, there are these uh, I'm not sure what you call these exactly, but you have these arms, like grabby arms going on here. You have the, the system going on here, and you can flip this side open. This also applies to this other side as well. You can see there are these rounds. Now, four rounds are all connected together, and you can't take those apart, while the one uh, I'm missing is the one I showed you previously. So what you can do is that there are these pegs. There's a peg here, and there's a hole here. You attach the round there, and then what you can do is you can give the illusion where this thing is loading into the cannon so according to the wiki this is like some sort of auto loader system going on here and yeah it's it's pretty cool i mean it's not like super gimmicky going on there but i really like these type of like designs here because we don't see these type of gimmicks or anything in the gundam in the gundam universe or gunpla uh side as well so i find this really interesting so I'm just gonna fold this back in and make sure uh, you know make sure you don't lose that separate round going on here because it does fall off a little bit too easily on mine. And yeah, I'm just gonna take that out and there we go. You can snap shut that in and yeah. All right, now I think the only thing left to show is the bottom section. Now you, you might think this is just a whole chunk of block going on here, but there are some you know movements going on here. So number one, according to the manual, now I haven't done, I can't do this as well, but according to the manual, the, these treads are supposed to move as well as you like pull them down, you're supposed to be able to move them. You can see the movement with the wheels going on here. It's supposed to move, but mine is extremely stiff. So I'm having trouble doing that. But if you loosen it up, I'm pretty sure you can pull it off. And then the other thing is that instead of being a whole chunk of plastic, what you can do is you can pop this section out a little bit. Now the inside there is a ball joint, so you could technically detach this if you want to do so. And you can move these parts all the way around so that this guy can actually move in, you know, various terrains going on here. So a rocky terrain or like inside the forest, you can make this guy move. So down, so going backwise, this is as far as I go. Going forward, you can kind of go a little bit more, but not 360 because there is something blocking the way as well. And then even though you could technically force it, you're going to stress the part. So that's never a good thing. And if you don't want to do that, you can always lock this into place like that. And there we go. All right, so we've seen the basics of the unit. So I think there's only one thing left to show and those are the effect parts. So uh, once we're done with that, we'll end it off there.
Okay, I'm back. So here we have all the effect parts attached to the gun tank itself. So once again, because of these long cannons, I'm having a little bit trouble showing you guys this, but they all work pretty well. I mean, the yellow, at first it was a little bit awkward, but I think I'm getting used to the color scheme going on now. So once again, works pretty well. All you need to do is plug it in and yeah, they're on the, they're actually a pretty stable connection. So I don't think you need to worry about them falling off easily. So that's that. So let me just get rid of those as well. And now for the Gatling guns, I absolutely love the way how these things look. Now, these Gatling effect parts are very different from the previous ones we've seen for like the, like the machine gun effect parts, like for example, for the, the Alex, the Gundam Alex effect parts for this Gatling gun arm. But still, these are much like, I really like the way how these look. So you can definitely look, go to commando style with these. Of course, I think um, if they do release a di different color variations, that would be pretty interesting as well. But still, yeah, I do look like the way how they look and because they, they are on the you know gallon gun you can rotate them if you want to do so side to side now if you're having trouble attaching these as i before mentioned before what you can do is you can let me just detach this so number one you can attach the first bottom half here and then attach the other second half if you're having a little bit of trouble attaching the whole chunk there so it works pretty well all right so that's pretty much it for the effect part i'm pretty sure you were wondering if i was going to do that thing so i'll be right back with that thing as well all right, I'm back. So I was pretty aware if I didn't do this, I'm pretty sure someone might have commented something. So once again, I'm trying this out. So uh, once again, it's really difficult to do the exact same pose on the box. So granted, I did not attach the uh, the machine gun slash Gatling gun onto the Goof Custom because I was feeling slightly lazy going on here. But still, uh, the biggest you know difficult part is that is to balance the figure on top of the gun tank mass production type. So it is a little bit tricky, but still you can basically work your way through and make your own version of the pose as well. And yeah, uh, even if I get, did get the gun tank first, I think I would still purchase the Goof Custom because I do know, um, because I've seen the anime and it's definitely one of those, you know, uh, scenes that you can kind of remember from this, the overall series. So either way, I think eventually I would have gotten both of these to do this pose as well. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the review. This was a review of the gun tank mass production type for anime from the Robot Damashi line. Uh, it's a great figure and definitely wants me, definitely wants me, makes me want to try out the original gun tank for anime as well. So maybe in the future. But anyway, thank you for, watch for watching the review. Hopefully this review was helpful. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have mo much more stuff to buy and build and make reviews on. So please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.